how do we react when someone else is living in the past in order for us to stay present? Hmm. Could you all hear that one? If somebody else, when I hear the word somebody else, <laughs> Uh, you, you know the word uh, codependency, don't you? Uh, uh, a codependent is someone who, when they die, they see someone else's life pass before their eyes. You know who you are. Um, we have no control over what other people feel, think, or do. And as you, those of you who were here last night are clear on, I hope, we don't even have control over what we think and feel. Feelings arise, thoughts appear in our consciousness. We do control what we do. And that's really, come, it, it does simplify our life very much. Just focusing on, but what do I need to do right now? What do I think needs doing? And there is a huge shift in our lives. When we shift from, um, what do I want and prefer and need to, what is for the highest good of all concerned here? That's a major shift in life. It's, it's a rising of attention up into the heart chakra. Uh, it doesn't mean we don't pay attention to what we want and prefer. That's a natural thing. You're here to live your life, not someone else's. I think Hillel said it best. He said, if I am not for me, who will be? Mm. But if I'm only for me, who am I? Mm. And if not now, when? <laughs>